Welcome back, everyone. The Dallas Symphony Orchestra is wrapping up its third annual Saluna Festival this week. It's an international fusion of music and visual arts, and there's a lot for you to experience even still. So Jillian Friedman is back with us now. She's director of Saluna Projects. We're going to highlight three things in particular, which will wrap all of this up. Been going on now for almost a month when it's all said and done. Yeah, well, this will end up the third week. And generally speaking, the weather has cooperated. Oh, we've been so lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what has reaction been? Because I know the festival has grown and gotten so much more recognition um, since you started three years ago. Yeah, we've been seeing increasingly diverse audiences over the past two weeks, which has been really rewarding. And we've also been seeing that we've been close to capacity at most events. Oh, so that's good. We're seeing a really great that's response. That's a good sign. Maybe people who are coming to town for conferences and conventions are hearing about it and, and getting a feel and flavor for what the Absolutely. Dallas Arts community is like. Absolutely, and the hotels and the other businesses in the area have been really supportive and putting up our signage and, and having And sending festivals. people that way. Exactly. Um, let's talk about Dallas Dreams Big. That that's tonight from right. 6 to 830 at the Latino Cultural Center. It's free. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what can people expect by that? So this is a experience of spoken word and music uh, featuring spoken word artist Will Ritchie and the Young Strings from the Dallas Symphony. And there's actually two performances tonight. One's at uh, 6 and one's at 830. All right. Traveling Lady. That's on Thursday at 730 at the Wiley. Mm -hmm. The Wiley went through an incident recently with uh, <laughs> it did. They had a little flood, but they're getting back on track and, and so much so that you're able to have this event there, which is a remarkable theater. Absolutely. It's a great space. And this is uh, part film, part performance. Uh, featuring Spanish film star Rosie De Palma. We're excited, uh, and she's been really having a great time here in Dallas so far. An interesting uh, third third up here, an interesting meshing of going behind the scenes while also doing a symphony. You've got Prokofiev and Symphony Number no. 5. Correct. Uh, Yat Van Zvaden is involved with that. We've been so lucky to have him here. Mm -hmm. um, he's headed off to the New York Philharmonic yeah. next season or season after next. Um, what can people expect from this? Because it brings together a World War II era. Yeah. Symphony, right? So uh, actually Saturday night is going to be a unique performance called Beyond the Score, which comes to us from Chicago Symphony. And we're inviting Kitchen Dog Theater to perform, uh, to bring us back to World War II era Russia. And so they're going to be acting out to the music? It's the first half is going to be a theatrical representation of what was going on in Prokofiev's life when he was writing this piece. And the second half will be the entire performance. So it gives you this real context. It gives you this impression of what do these performances mean? We hope people will walk away with a much better understanding of the piece. And that's interesting. And again, with uh, with conductor Jat Van Zvaden heading off to New York City, you've got an opportunity here to see him in action. And he really is a remarkable performer in and of himself. Uh, so Luna, by the way, runs through Sunday. For all the information you need, including a complete schedule, go to mydso.com slash Saluna, Jillian, congratulations. Thank you so on, much. On your success this year. 